all right, gonna do a video scripturally showing uh, further proof of why the saint ought to have nothing to do with Halloween and ought to not be, be basically participating in this occult heathen high day of Halloween, or I just call it Halloween, or just the high day of the underworld. That's when all that is, because it's just death worship. So, and it's like right here proves that, because Halloween is a heathen custom of child sacrifice. And I'm gonna show some scriptures that basically demonstrate that there is a correlation between learning the way of the heathen and adopting you know, alien heathen religions and getting into child sacrifice. So let's get right into the word of God. Second Chronicles 33, verses one to six. It says, Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 50 and five years in Jerusalem, but did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, like unto the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down, and he reared up altars for Balaam, and made groves, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. Also he built altars in the house of the Lord, whereof the Lord had said, In Jerusalem shall my name be forever. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two co in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with the familiar spirits and with wizards. And he wrought much he wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. We see this correlation when he's getting into witchcraft and the heathen the abominations of the heathen. We see causing his children to pass through the fire, talking about child sacrifice, and then he's also you know, enchantments, witchcraft. But we see it's when you get into heathen custom, this alien heathen religion, uh, when it when it goes into your, you know, when, it, when essentially when you adopt alien heathen customs, child sacrifice is one of the things you would see the Israelites getting into when they would adopt this stuff. Uh, Second Chronicles 28 verses 1 to 4 says, uh, Second Chronicles 28, 1 to 4, Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, but he did that but he did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord like David his father, for he walked in the ways of the kings of Israel and made also molten images for Balaam. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burnt his children in the fire after the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. He sacrificed also and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. See, you'll see a consistent thing as well of under every green tree, you know, and just another kick at the, the occult high day of Christmas as well, uh, because we see that when you're putting presents under a tree, it's no different than the, when they would sacrifice and give offerings under every green tree. Just wanted to give a kick at this occult holiday of Christmas, which I'll be covering in, in the videos I do on Christmas I, that I plan to work on basically, but, you know, just want to kick that because in many ways, Christmas is every bit as occultic and wicked as Halloween. But we see there, when they're getting into the abominations of the heathen, He's getting into also sacrificing children. It's a correlation there. Second uh, Kings 17 verses 15 down to verse 17. Another example of this, Second Kings 17 verse 15 to 17. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the lord had charged them that they should not do like them and they left all the commandments of the lord their god and made them molten images even two calves and made a grove and worshiped all the hosts of heaven and served baal and they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the lord to provoke him to anger again adopting heathen customs then we see the thing of child sacrifice being you know adopted by the israelites this, this heathen custom of child sacrifice Psalms 106, verse 35 to 40. And I'm going to point this out as well. Halloween is actually, you know, it's a pagan custom that was built on human sacrifice. So, but anyway, Psalms 106, verse 35 to 40. Psalm 106, 35. Oops, that's the wrong chapter there. Psalms 106, verse 35 to 40. We also see here that the adopting heathen customs and sacrificing children is connected with devil worship as well, which is exactly what Halloween is, devil worship. Psalms 106, verse 35 to 40. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols, which are, were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus, they were, th thus were they defiled, 
with their own works and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. Kind of a sobering thought when you're getting into this kind of stuff. It's something that God abhors. It's an abomination. When this, because again, Halloween is rooted in heathen custom, and child sacrifice is one of the things that Halloween was, you know, that was part of the original, what they call it Samhain or, or Samhain or whatever they want to call it. Yeah, you know, it's something that God abhors. Child sacrifice is shedding innocent blood, and God hates that. It's an abomination to him, you know. And, you know, any basic research will show that Halloween is the way of the heathen. It stems from Celtic Druidic paganism and Wiccan witchcraft and is full of, you know, all kinds of just... I mean, even the apple bobbing game is pagan in origin and occult in origin. And you'll see that a consistent theme is that it comes back to them doing the human sacrifices once a year on their Samhain or the, the, what they call it, the fall solstice or whatever they call it. Yeah, it's heathen custom of child sacrifice. It's an abomination. Child sacrifice is basically murder really it's shedding innocent blood something that god hates so anyway wanted to point that out further showing why the saint ought to have nothing to do with this heathen occult high day of halloween so the devil plain and simple so anyway don't be deceived may the grace of our lord jesus christ with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.